I will start off by saying it is great to see you, and I've been looking forward to talking to you since I saw this movie. You scared oh, me. Good, good, good. <laughs> you, uh, this is such a role, but I read that you prepared, you told somebody that you prepared by drinking rosé and doing Pilates. True. It's a true story. True story. Explain that to me. Well, you know, my character is a, was a mom growing up on this drive up to her father's house, who's just passed away, to pack up his house. She was not planning on any kind of shenanigan at all. Um, so I didn't want my character to have some sort of special ops training or jujitsu or whatever. She's just a mom put into extraordinary circumstances, having to use her wits. Um, so I just wanted to be loose. Wanted to make sure this hip was loose for the, you know, when I had to run or I had to, you know, throw a punch. Um, but I didn't want to look like I'd been super trained. So what better way than uh, Pilates you, and rosé? Exactly. You kind of uh, answered the question, but I want to ask you this. What drives Sean, your character? Obviously, the, the love, love for her children. The love of her children. Did I get it? You got it. Okay. Dang. Um, you know, and the fact that probably, as most women, she has been underestimated her entire life. And the bad guys picked the wrong one. You know what I mean? They were like, she's just a mom. She's just a woman. What is she going to do? And she was like, I got you. I got you. You also serve as a producer on yeah. this project, which yeah. congratulations on that one. Great film uh, to, to do that with. But what inspired you to take on that role? You know, I've been uh, executive producing most of the projects that I've been a part of for the last few years. So, uh, and we, me and Will Packer had partnered on Being Mary Jane, and we had partnered on Almost Christmas. So this was just, you know, an extension of our working relationship. And he's so easy to work with. He gets how I produce. I, you know, like I come from the talent side. So the things that, that you know, if you've never been talent, you don't even think about. Or you think they're talent, they're getting paid for it, deal with it. It's like, no, you're gonna mess up you know, the vibe, by the time they get to set, they're annoyed. And we're not gonna get the the, the, the performances that we want. We gotta make sure we, we, we handle talent with respect and a little, you know, a little nurturing. Um, so when they get to set, they're they're happy, they're prepared. Um, so it's it's a good, it's an, it's an interesting relationship being talent as well as producing. That's a great way to look at it. Yeah. Ajiana Alexis plays your daughter in this. We know her from Empire and we saw an Acrimony. What makes her the perfect cast to play this role? Because I, I think she's perfect and she's tough too. No, she's, and I'm gonna she's ask her that one. question as well. She's a tough one. No, I saw her in 13 Reasons Why. And I loved her character in 13 Reasons Why. I loved her innocence, but also there's that little flash in her eye where you're like, oh, tell me more, dish. Um, but I also love that she's grown, at, who but looks very young. So we didn't actually have to have the constraints of of um, you know kids' schedules because the little boy could only work just you know a few hours at a right. time. So with uh, with Asiana, you know she could work the same amount of time as as uh, you know other adults, which is how I started my career as a grown ass person playing you know playing fifteen year olds. And it's like oh I can stay here all night. Oh <laughs> that's okay okay. Now I get it. 